Welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy. Honored to have you here with me today. Uh, today's reading is Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 through 58. Jesus is continuing on uh, through various parables, and the parables are really awesome. They become uh, very beautifully illustrated in ways that we can very fully kind of get our, our grips on and see that what he's saying. And I hope that you're able to see some of these, uh, you know, not maybe not the depths of what's happening here, but at least grab uh, the overall viewpoint that he's bringing here and how he's expressing to us the kingdom of God. And the first thing that I want us to see in here is that he's expressing the small start that is the kingdom of God. And so, for example, Jesus' ministry is really just getting going, and uh, it's a small subset that's happening in the area right now, uh, but it's going to grow into something mighty. And so uh, he talks about how uh, it's a small mustard seed, and a mustard seed is, is a seed uh, that I'm told is so small that it would take almost 20,000 seeds to make one ounce. That's a small seed. And yet it grows up as this garden tree that, uh, that birds can come and make nests in its branches. He then compares the kingdom of heaven to uh, yeast. And so yeast is a very small amount goes into the dough, but yet it permeates every part of the dough. And so we don't need to despise small beginnings. We need to enjoy small beginnings. You may be at a place in your faith where you feel like you just got started. You may feel like you just are, are you have so much to learn and so much to wrap your mind around. You don't even know what it looks like to follow Jesus. You hear stories all the time. You're reading things in the Bible and you think, oh, I didn't know that was in there. I don't understand it. What's going on here? Well, that's what this is all about. I'm not trying to help you get some masters in Bible. I'm trying to help you uh, journey through the Word of God, maybe for the first time, and get a good grip on it and allow the Holy Spirit to open your heart and your mind to what He has to say. And so don't despise where you're at today. Don't get discouraged by the small beginnings of your faith. Be encouraged about how God's Word is permeating every part of your life. Now, as the Word of God permeates every part of your life, you need to understand that what you have is a treasure. What you have is a hidden treasure, a pearl that is of infinite value. It's an inestimable, in, I don't know, you can't, estimate, you can't estimate the value of the kingdom of God. See, the kingdom of heaven is more valuable than anything else that we have. And so uh, what we saw in this passage is that as it permeates your life, we need to understand that a person needs to be willing to say, I'm all yours. It's worth everything. Have you ever thought about that? Are you so sold out and so in love with Jesus that you're willing to give up everything in order to obtain it? Did you know that if you have Jesus, you have all that you need? If you have Jesus and nothing, you have everything you need. But if you have everything but no Jesus, you've got nothing. That's the reality of the kingdom of heaven. That's the reality of this life that we're living. The, the kingdom of heaven is so valuable that it calls us for a total investment. It calls us to radical discipleship. It calls us to laying everything down. And those of us who find it have found a hidden pearl, a treasure that the world is searching for and longing for. And you have it. You found it. So let's not let the lures of this world hold us back from radical discipleship. See, the God, God, God is out and he is casting his net and he's reaching out and he's pulling in people of all kinds. And that includes us. He's reaching people of all kinds, of all, all uh, different types of people are coming into the kingdom of God. That's one of the things I love about the kingdom of God is that, is that there's such a variety of people, rich, poor, black, white, you name it, nationality, all of this is in the kingdom of God. It's beautiful what he's doing. And so we give God all the glory for these things that he has done. I've met lots of people over the years that have walked away from a lot there's a lady, uh, an elderly woman now by the name of Phyllis, who 
uh, lives and runs an orphanage of sorts down in Haiti that I, my wife and I got to spend some time with. Phyllis fell in love with Jesus at a young age. But Phyllis wasn't from Haiti. She was from Jamaica. She was born into a very wealthy family in Jamaica. She went to school in the United States, and she had every opportunity at her fingerprint, at her fingertips. But God called her to the poverty of the Haitian people, and she turned and she gave her entire life to serving those people there. And she served her Lord through all of that. She gave up all of this world. And I'll tell you what, if you talk to Phyllis today and you could, you would find out that she has such a deep joy and a deep love for the Lord that she has no regrets because she gave everything, because she found a hidden treasure and she left it. She allowed it to permeate every area of her life and she gave it all, gave it all to him. And so friends, as you read today or as you listen to me, answer this question. Today I learned this about Jesus And on this day, I will this. Pray with me. Here's the challenge to pray this today. If you will, if you're willing, if you're willing to pray this, pray with me. Jesus, I am a radical disciple of yours. I am all yours today. Lead my steps. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day, and I hope that you go out into the world. And you live as a radical disciple of Jesus Christ because what you have is a hidden pearl. Show it to the world by how you live. Have a great day.